Look, sometimes I wonder whether this market would be more rational if everyone on Wall Street was forced to take a civics class. Just look at the infrastructure stocks. This whole group soared right after the election because Trump had campaigned on a trillion dollar infrastructure plan. But the president isn't omnipotent. Even if Congress could get its act together to pass anything major, the GOP majority does not like to spend money. And the Democrats don't want to give Trump any policy victories. So an infrastructure bill of that size was always going to be a stretch. But it, it took many months for money managers to get this idea around their heads. Now they've gone from loving the infrastructure stocks to being a lot less enthusiastic. Consider Martin Marietta Materials, MLM. It's the maker of aggregates. Think of it as stones, concrete, asphalt, and other basic materials used in all sorts of construction and infrastructure projects. Earlier this year, Martin Marietta was viewed as a red-hot Trump play. These days, though, few are counting on help from Washington anymore. Plus, earlier this week, the company missed numbers. It was just headlines, but they reported an 11-cent earnings miss off a dollar, uh, off a $2.36 basis, weaker than expected revenue that was still up 8.8% year-over-year. Stock got hit, still down. However, I wonder if people are overreacting here. Martin Marietta's got solid organic growth, made some smart bull on acquisitions, and when you take a close look at its earnings miss, many of the problems seem to be temporary, like high levels of rainfall in the Southwest delaying construction projects. Does the company even need help from Washington? I think it's much stronger than that. Could the weakness be a buying opportunity? Let's dig deeper with Ward Nye, the chairman and CEO of Martin Marietta Materials. Find out more about the quarter and where his company's headed. Mr. Nye, welcome back to Mad Money. Thank you. Good to see you, Ward. Have a seat. Thank you. Ward, I always find it really interesting. People somehow know that don't, there are construction projects don't don't get done in the rain. Mm-hmm. But when they don't get done with your company, they think, well, wait a second. That means they're not happening. That is not the case. They are happening, and we had a record quarter. We had a record quarter despite markets like Atlanta and Charlotte. We're literally washed out in the quarter. But as you indicated, year over year, quarter over quarter, great growth, and we see great growth ahead of us. And you're doing acquisition because you know that there's more opportunity than just in the areas that you're already in. Well, and we're excited about where we're doing the acquisitions as well. We bought bluegrass materials, as as you indicated. We expect to close that in the fourth quarter of this year. It bulks up our presence in Georgia, in Maryland. It gives us a new presence in Kentucky, adds to what we have in South Carolina. Geography matters a lot in our business. Well, I was going to say, every time you've done an acquisition, and I mean actually every time, it has been additive. A, you don't pump, you know, you don't pat your chest, but they've all worked. Well, we've got a very good team, and, and they look hard at these transactions. And integrations have worked well, too. So. Yes. Now, uh, there was a, something I'm going to read, and you got to defend your life on, okay? Um, we remain encouraged by the bipartisan support in Washington regarding the need for substantial investment in our nation's infrastructure. Mm-hmm. Are there two different views of Congress, or is this a different kind of infrastructure that they always fund? I think one thing that we see about infrastructure is this one. States have come back and funded it because the federal government wasn't doing something for about 10 years. The FAST Act Is is that not incredible, though? It is incredible. Right. But the FAST Act was great evidence of how much bipartisan support there is around the notion. The concept of how much more they're going to do and when that's going to be is a little bit more elusive right now. I think we still have confidence that we will see it because there does appear to be agreement on that probably much more than we see on health care or broadly taxes right now. So in other words, it could be just or neither of us as politicians, but mm-hmm. had the order been different, maybe something could have happened. I, I think that's probably a pretty good guess. All right. Very good. Now, I think some people feel, well, wait a second. Mm-hmm. This industry's done. The recovery's over. But you're, there's, it's, gotten, it's gotten as far as I actually hear this stuff all the time. That look, what more can they possibly do? This is as good as it gets. But contrast the last peak yeah. with where you are now, because I think they may find out that we're not nearly that close. Okay, let's talk about Martin Marietta. So, okay. in the last peak, Martin Marietta produced and sold 205 million tons of material. At the bottom of the cycle, 125 million tons. So, an 80 million ton peak to trough. Last year, after we had done the Texas Industries transaction, which was a big transaction, we did about 159 million tons. So if you take that 15 million tons away that TXI brought in, we're only modestly off the floor. And keep in mind, what we're seeing now is still early innings on many private works. So if we're looking at residential in the United States, a 50-year average is 1.5 million starts. We're closer to 1.2 million right now. So on the private side and public side, we think there's good runway. And that's one of the reasons why you have 
uh, been a great buyer of your stock and have a lot of firepower if you want to. No, that that's entirely right. And, and that's one reason we said our capital priorities haven't changed. We want to do the right transactions because we think we're in the right point in that cycle. Right. But coming back and making sure that we have a good, sustainable dividend, can invest organically, and return cash to shareholders are all very important to us. Now, if people want to own the stock, I'm going to kind of urge you to do some work here. For instance, what matters, say, is the Florida Department of Transportation mm -hmm. and what they're up to. And Florida DOT had a record budget last year. They have a near record DOT budget this year. Texas Department of Transportation spending $70 billion over the next 10 years. These are record numbers. Georgia DOT doubled their transportation spending last year. We're seeing a number of states, Iowa, South Carolina, Indiana, and others, Republican-led states raising the gas tax to put more money into infrastructure. Uh, and the process uh, from that to when you might get a call, how long? You know what? It can vary a lot. It can be anywhere from nine to 18 months somewhere in that phase because you're letting new work that in many respects can take longer for engineering. But again, you're looking at some of those states. Iowa, for example, raised their gas tax a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. So we're starting to see that come through. Just now. Mm -hmm. All right, that's a good sign. I think the pipeline is going to be great for you guys. You made a, just, you've made a fortune for, for shareholders, and I think you're going to continue to do so. That's Ward and I, Martin Marietta's chairman, president, and CEO, and the symbol is MLM. Stick with Kramer. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.